let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Some of you guys asked me, what are my thoughts on electric motorcycles? Would I ever buy one? Let me tell you this, guys. I think, you know, electric vehicles and motorcycles, I think it's, it's a, you know, a great idea. And I'm sure they're fun to ride. I hear the torque is really amazing on electric vehicles like the Tesla and, uh, and the new electric motorcycle, what is it called, the Zero uh, Motorcycle. But the major problem, there's two major problems that I have with electric motorcycles and with cars too, is that number one, there's no sound. Or the sound is, is nothing like a combustion engine sound. And I would really, really miss that. I mean, I hated even having the stock exhaust on this bike. I'm gonna pull over here and let you let you listen to this baby. So that you can uh Appreciate the sound as well. Hey, I cut my turn signal off. Yay! <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Woo! CBR 1000. Fucking double R, baby. Fucking awesome bike, man. Hyperflow exhaust. Now, this is what I, at least this is my opinion. This is why I love combustion engine motorcycles and that I cannot see myself riding an electric bike. I just gotta have the sound, man. No! <laughs> That just makes me bust a nut, man. <laughs> I wet my I wet my drawers, guys. Shit. I hope this isn't a fucking police station. <laughs> Wouldn't that be some shit? Okay, what the fuck you doing out here, dude? Oh shit. We got a hard rider, baby. Let's catch up. <laughs> It's fucking fast. Shit, I even love the sound of a Harley. I fucking love the sound of Harleys, man. I know a lot of you guys hate on uh, Harleys, but they sound fucking amazing to me, man. But an uh, electric motorcycle? Just too fucking quiet, man. I couldn't deal with that. They completely changed this the fuck up, dude. We got a pair of squids here, guys. <laughs> the sound is only one issue. The second issue that I have is that when the battery dies out, and you're stranded way out here in fucking bumfuck Ohio somewhere, out in the back country or wherever you are. What the fuck are you gonna do? I mean, even if you can't just like walk it to a gas station and fill it up, and what are you gonna do? Go knock on somebody's door, some random person, say, "Hey, can I uh, charge my motorcycle?" And you're, <laughs> can I use your outlet so I can charge my motorcycle? I'm stranded. <laughs> I mean, seriously, guys. I mean, what the fuck? And that's if you carry the charger cable in your backpack or something, you know? I mean, it's it's not like a, you know, 
a gas motorcycle, you just fucking go to the gas station, pump gas, you're good to go. Motorcycles, you gotta fucking wait. I think the fastest you could probably charge one, maybe, I don't know, two hours or so. Supercharge that bitch. I know with the Teslas, you can supercharge those in like two hours. But fuck, two hours. I can have dinner in a, a fucking movie, man. <laughs> What the fuck, man? That, that's too fucking long. I can't wait that long, man. But that's not to say I, I couldn't have fun on an electric motorcycle or a car for that matter. I, but as far as the car, as you guys know, uh, to me, all cars are fucking boring. I don't care how fast they are. But as far as the motorcycle, I'm sure they are a blast to ride. But... Bust the throttle on it. I mean, crank the throttle like I'm doing here. Keep fucking around doing that shit on the electric bike. The battery's dead in like, what, 50 miles? <laughs> 100 miles? Then you're fucked. Then, you, then you're uh, fucking on the side of the road walking your bike, man. Or have to call AAA or something. But, uh, you know, obviously you're going to keep up with your miles. But what if there's some sort of electrical malfunction or something, man? Or the... What if the, you get a bum battery that just decides to fucking crap out on you? You're fucked. You know? So, those are the two main pitfalls for me. Sound and, and no ability to be able to uh, power it up right away. You know, even if, you know, I could see maybe if they were able to set it up so you can supercharge it in like 30 minutes. And they had a, a charging station at every gas station in the country. You know, I'd be willing to wait 30 minutes if it could do a full charge. And you can get at least, I would say at least 150 miles, at least 200 miles out of it with aggressive riding. You know. And maybe I would get an uh, electric motorcycle once they reach that... Uh, you know, ability to be able to do that. But until then, I'm going to enjoy my gas motorcycle. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. God, this bike's like, woo! No wonder they call these bitches crotch rockets. These are fucking rockets, man. I wouldn't even have to do 150 miles on this bitch to have fun. That's what I love about these super sports. It's the G-force that you get from doing like zero to fucking 100. And I'm sure with the electric motorcycles, you know, they have a ton of torque. And can get you up to speed real fast too, but... Like I said, man, just listen to that sound. Listen. Oh, man. I better quit fucking around, man. There's a lot of leaves out here. The last thing I need is a fucked up day. Let me get the fuck out of here. I gotta head back. It's getting too late to be heading out to the country. Gotta get back on track. God, this bike is fucking fast. You guys out there that talk shit about the CBL 1000 RR and you're like, it's slow. You guys got some fucking, this bike does 10 seconds, does high nines in the fucking quarter mile. If that's not fast enough for you, then I, what the fuck, dude? Especially out here on the street. You don't need all those electronic rider raids and all that. Oh, 
Sorry about that, guys. Just having all kind of fucking orgasms on my CBR 1000. Fucking double R, baby. <laughs> but anyways, guys, it's just my opinion. I know for those of you that have electric motorcycles and you love them, that's fantastic. Like I said, I'm, I, I'm going to test ride one. I promise you guys, I, I will test ride one. So, and that way I can give you, you know, my opinion on the motorcycle with experience. But, like I said, the electric motorcycles are never, or at least right now, they're not going to overcome those two issues. You know, they could probably put a fake sound on there, but it won't be the same, you know. But uh, if they can get that baby supercharged up, where you can charge that sucker up in a freaking like 15 minutes. I don't know, man. Uh, especially if they made a dual sport. Uh, I know they have a dual sport, uh, the Zero motorcycle. And uh, because, I, as you guys know, I don't care. The dual sport, it could be quiet. I don't care. Because I can, uh, actually I want it quiet so I can creep in places and be a fucking hooligan. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> ah! Yeah, fuck! And I not make a ton of noise and draw attention to me, so. But uh, get that baby down to supercharge in 10, 15 minutes. Hey, you never know. That might be on my uh, on my wish list. But hey guys, that's all I have for you. Just having fun out here on my CBR 1000 fucking double R, baby. If you want to see more of my videos, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com. Click on my videos. I have a bunch of playlists. I have over 500 videos, all categorized and playlists. And I have one specially for you new riders that are interested in getting into motorcycling. You want to see everything. But hey guys, that's all I have for you. Signing out here on this lovely autumn evening here in Northeast Ohio. So until next time, catch you guys later. Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click the Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.